Now I'm going to show you how to pin fabric together and sew a whip stitch and a straight stitch or a running stitch. Those are the two stitches we use most often in this class and so I'm going to show them to you. So first let's look at the whip stitch. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get our two pieces of fabric or three or five or whatever you're sewing today. We've got two here as our example. We're going to line them up and we're going to pin them. If you take the pin and you just stab it through, head on one side and point on the other, it will come right apart. So to pin, we put the pin in against the, uh, just stab it into the table and then make a mountain and push through. We want to be able to see the head of the pin and the tip of the pin on the same side. That will hold the fabric really nicely. Again, take it, stab it into the fabric into the table, make a mountain and stick it through and that'll hold our two fabrics together. Just like in our last video, I've got my thread ready. It's attached to the needle. I measured it out from my um, hand to my chin. I've got the knot in it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set the dam. I did not line those up very well though. Okay, so I'm gonna set the dam. Remember that if you just pull, 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 that knot is gonna come right through the fabric. And so we're going to instead we're gonna set a dam. This is a running stitch example first. So we're gonna come up and we're gonna stop when the knot is about one inch from the fabric. And then I'm gonna go back down through the fabric. And then to set that dam or the stopper um, to keep that knot from coming through, I'm gonna come up between the two threads between the knot and the fabric. And that is gonna set that dam and keep the thread, the knot from pulling through. And then I pull the whole thing tight and we immediately cut off those tails so they do not get in our way and into the garbage they go. Okay, a running stitch. Running stitch looks like a dashed line. So I'm gonna come up from the bottom and then I'm gonna go down through the top. Up through the bottom down through the top. Up from the bottom, down through the top. So you're always going back into the fabric the same side you came out of. So I came out of the bottom, so I go up through the bottom. Came out of the top, I'm gonna go down. As we're sewing, if we sew and sew and sew until our needle, until the thread is all used up and the needle is really close to the fabric like this, we will not be able to tie off. We need thread to be able to tie off. So I'm gonna keep sewing here until I run out of thread. Now, let's say I'm sewing a eyeball onto something and I get done sewing the eyeball on and I still have a lot of thread on my needle. I still tie off because I'm done with that job. Let's say I'm sewing all the way around something. I've got a lot of sewing to do. I just have to keep going and going and going until I get about this much thread. We want enough thread that when we put our hand next to the thread, so we've got our needle is here just off the camera. Let me pull it back a little bit. Needle is here, fabric is here. I wanna put my hand down and I want enough thread that it goes from the tip of my finger down to about my thumb. So tip of finger to thumb. I got a little bit more than that, but I'm gonna go ahead and call this good. Now we're gonna tie off. So to tie off, I'm gonna do this funky little stitch, kind of like how I put my pin in. I'm gonna come right from where the needle, or the thread is sticking out, and I'm going to put my needle in, I'm gonna make a little mountain, I'm gonna put my needle out. So I see the eye of the needle, and I see the tip of the needle, all in the same place. And I'm gonna push that needle through, and I'm gonna pull it but I am not going to close this loop. I'm not gonna pull it tight. I'm gonna leave this loop here, stick my finger into it. Then I'm gonna take my needle and I'm going to put it into the loop. This is the hardest part. I'm gonna grab, you can see all this thread gets wonky. I'm gonna grab the thread right where the needle is sitting inside the loop. And then I'm gonna grab the loop with my other hand and I'm gonna candy cane stripe the loop around the needle. So I have these candy cane stripes around the needle. And then I'm gonna push the needle through the candy cane stripes. I've got all this thread wrapped around itself and I'm gonna pull the whole thing tight, nice and slow. You can use your other finger to kind of pull it tight down onto the fabric. 
And I'm going to do it a second time just right underneath where I just did it. So pull the needle down through underneath, make my loop, stick my needle into my loop, grab it, candy cane stripe the loop around the needle, pull through, and pull the whole thing tight. And that is how you set the dam, do a running stitch, and then do a tie-off. Now I'm going to show you how to do whip stitch. I'm going to tie this off, cut this off, and then this thread would go in the garbage because it's too short to use. And then my needle, if I'm not using it right away, is going to go right into my needle card. When you go to cut off, you want to leave a little bit of a tail. If you cut too tight to the knot, it's likely to come undone. Now, whip stitch. Whip stitch. We set the dam, so we're going to go up, and then we're going to go through, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it till the knot is about an inch away from the fabric, and then we're going to go around the edge here, and we're just going to stick the needle through the two threads to make our dam. We're going to trim off our tails, garbage. Now, the whip stitch, we go in the same side the whole time. So in this case, I'm going to come up from the bottom. I'm going to wrap it around up from the bottom. Wrap it around up from the bottom. Wrap it around up from the bottom. And what we're doing is we are just going around this edge, making this cool stitch where it goes around the top edge or the the side edge or whatever edge it is just goes around the edge so it always comes in the same side so in this case I'm coming up from the bottom and then coming out through the top now I need to remember that I have to stop when I have from my finger to my thumb left so I'm gonna lay this down put my hand down finger down to about my thumb there we are I'm ready to tie off so to tie off a whip stitch, I'm going to go around the edge like I'm going to make a whip stitch, but I'm not going to pull it tight. I'm going to leave that loop. And then same thing as with our running stitch, I'm going to put my needle into the loop. I'm going to candy cane stripe the loop around the needle. Then I'm going to pull the needle through the candy cane stripes, pull the whole thing tight. I'm going to do it again right underneath where I just was. Loop, needle into the loop candy cane stripe the needle, pull the needle through the candy cane stripes, and pull the whole thing tight. Clip my threads, leaving a little bit of a tail. Take my thread off, put it into the garbage, and then my needle, if I'm not using it again right away, goes right into a needle card. So here we have the two stitches that we just did. The green fabric has a running stitch and the black fabric has this whip stitch. They get used for different things or for different looks. As you can tell, they look differently, so they're good for different styles. But the other thing is, is the whip stitch is used along the edge of things and the running stitch can be used on the edge or in the middle of things. So that is how we pin. You guys learned how to pin the fabric. You guys got to see how to set the dam again. And then you got to see the running stitch and a tie off and the whip stitch and a tie off. And remember both of them to tie off, we create our loop. Then we candy cane stripe the needle, stick the needle, excuse me, make our loop, put the needle into the loop, candy cane stripe the needle, pull the needle through the candy cane stripes and then pull the whole thing tight. And that is how we pin running stitch, whip stitch and tie off.